So my name's John Papa, and today I want to talk about readable code. Where do we spend our time? How many of you here, raise a hand, think you spend more time writing code? The ratio is vastly in the camp of reading our code. Reading code is about fast and effective communication. So how do you make your code easier to read? First, start with some kind of a style guide. The Angular docs provide one for us. Make what you want for your company. The important thing is you have something at your company and your team. So starting with those helps you avoid things like this. Writing a function to divide. Div x, y with a value. When somebody goes and reads this, it's a lot easier if you can actually read the variable names and the functions. And it doesn't take a whole lot more energy. If you can't understand the code in five seconds, that's probably a smell. That's probably an idea that you should refactor a little bit. So here, in five seconds, can you figure this out? One, two, three, four, five. No, you couldn't. So <laughs> instead, what you could do is rewrite it with functions in the middle. Just makes it a little bit easier. Abstracting to functions is an easy way to do this. And guess what? All modern tools have it. VS Code, you right click, extract this into a function, and you're good to go. This code is arguably not too hard to read, but it could be easier. Why not just have an add speaker function and have an update speaker function and have something simpler that just calls those? Less than 20 lines. This is a general guideline I have. It's not hard and fast, but if it's too big, and some people say it can't be off screen. Some people can't say more than 10 lines. It's really whatever your guidelines say in your company. It helps you read through the code faster. Abbreviations, misspellings. By the way, those are customers, not customers. <laughs> and my favorite one was here. I went looking through the code to maintain it, looking for any functions that did validation. So silly me, I searched for the word validate. <laughs> Little did I know that validate was actually spelled wrong all my entire life. <laughs> These kind of things can actually hurt you in code. So spelling can be a good thing. Stay in school, kids. So providing clarity through code first. Sometimes we look at comments as the way to go there. But I'll tell you, I think code is a better way. Because how often do you honestly update the comments when you change code? I know I don't. Instead, self-describing code. Write a function. Hero can defeat villain. Little things like this, very easy to do, refactoring, abstracting, always opt for self-describing code over comments to describe a what. So when do you avoid comments? This is what I recommend. If you're explaining what the code does, here's the beginning of the if. Here's the end of the if. Thank you. <laughs> Outdated and incorrect, easy to understand. We don't want old comments. They're actually worse than having no comments because it misleads you down the wrong way. Or you shoulda, coulda, woulda use some kind of a well-named function or variable. So and comments can be helpful, yes. I'm not saying don't comment at all. I'm just saying think about where you do comment and how it can be helpful and who's going to update that. Nobody's code is perfect when they first write it. But here's the thing. You write your code. It's dirty. And then you show it to somebody and you clean it up. Or you show it to yourself and you clean it up. And you iterate over it. You read your own code. Put your own code down for a day and go back. Writing readable code will make your app easier to maintain. It'll make it live longer. It'll make your bosses happier. It'll help you update your apps. It'll save you and the next developer. Thank you very much for coming and I hope you all write more readable code.